Good morning students. This is Dr. Kiran Deshwal, Assistant Professor English. In this video lecture, I will teach you the essay Getting Up on Cold Mornings composed by Lay Hunt. We left our essay on Stone Cold where the author says that that when you realize the sides of your bed are very cold like a stone coal you are afraid of coal and despite to get up you 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 lost your courage of getting up and you want to spend some more time in your bed. So let us begin from on opening my eyes. The first thing that meets them is my own breath rolling forth. So what, what makes you afraid? The density, the density of cold. So it happens in uh, cold days our own steam our breathe uh, can be seen in the environment like a fog so on it indicates us that how much cold it is and we are reluctant to come out from our bed on opening my eyes the first thing that meets them is my own breath rolling forth as if in the open air like smoke out of a cottage chimney Think of this symptom, then I turn my eyes sideways and see the window all frozen over. Uh, dear girls, here the writer is telling that when I open my eyes in the morning, the first thing, first of all, you, you breathe in the air and uh, you can see, you can look at your breath. It's steaming all over in the environment. It can It shows that. It is very cold and this feeling that it is very cold outside it um, stops you to get up on opening my eyes the first thing that meets them is my own breath rolling forth as if in the open air like smoke out of a cottage chimney whenever there is uh, a chimney is burning and uh, the smoke rises over the house from the cottage so your breathe your breathe looks as a steam or as a smoke and think of this symptom and this is a symptom that there is very cold outside then i turn my eyes sideways and see the window all frozen over and this feeling tells you that it is very cold then what do you do then you look at the sideways and see at the windows and the windows all frozen over there is heavy snowfall and you are reluctant to get up think of that and whenever you look at that then the servant comes comes in it is very cold this morning and the servant comes announcing that it is very cold outside so uh, your fear increases and you don't want to come out from your bed then the servant comes in it is very cold this morning is it isn't very cold so very cold indeed and the emphasizer very cold indeed the servant emphasizes every single word and this emphasizer uh, makes you realize that it's really very cold outside and you should not come out from your bed right now very cold so very cold indeed isn't it very cold indeed so more than usually so and this tag this addition more than usually so isn't it even for and good getting up on call on nature are put to a considerable test and the inquiry lies on thrones for the good creature there is not a better or more truth telling servant going i must rise however get me some warm water 
still if you are willing if you are determined you say to your servant that okay give me some warm water and i must rise however get me some warm water so this is a trick by doing so or by ordering so you you have some time to spend in your bed you can keep lying for some more time here comes a fine interval between the departure of the servant and the arrival of the hot water in between you can enjoy the warm feelings of your bed during which of course it is of no use to get up because without hot water what will you do the hot water comes but the joy is temporary and uh, the hot water comes your servant brings hot water for you as you have ordered is it quite hot yes sir perhaps too hot for shaving might be so i must wait a little again you are playing tricks you are you want to spend some more time in your bed you are reluctant you are unwilling to come out so what do you order you say that perhaps the water is too hot for saving i must wait for a little i must wait for a, a little please put it aside and let it get a little bit cool no so it will just do it is okay and this is an over nice property sometimes an officious deal of virtue a little troublesome and things becomes troublesome for you because you don't want to come out oh the sir you must stay a my clean shirt lining gets very damp this weather yes sir here another delicious five minutes the shirt very well my stockings i think this stocking shirt better we air too so you are you keep ordering your servant about things and uh, you keep delaying and you keep lying and uh, you are unwill unwilling and you are reluctant you ask you order him to air your shirt to air your lining to air your stockings and he is doing everything very quickly very well so here another interval at length and you get a break of five minutes you you need not to get out from your bed for five minutes more at length everything is ready except myself but the result is that the servant is doing everything and everything is ready and now everything is waiting just for you so at length everything is ready the author says that finally everything is ready and i'm not ready except myself i don't want to come out from my bed i'm very reluctant and i am unwilling and now continues are incumbent incumbent means a happy word by the by for a country vicar i now cannot help thinking a good deal who can then you motivate yourself that i must get up if i want who will upon the necessary and villainous custom of saving who has started this custom of saving why do people save in such a cold morning it is very torturous it is a thing so unmanly here i nestle closer and so effeminate and it seems to me like i'm a coward there are effeminate symptoms in me here i recoil from an and uh, shaving every single morning makes you fair and you look you have your face like a woman and it's an effeminate feeling here i recoil from an unlucky step into the colder part of the bed but the author has to come out from his bed and here i recoil from an unlucky step into the colder part of the bed finally you have to come out 
no wonder that the queen of france took part with the rebels against the degenerate king her visage with a face like her own the emperor julian never showed the luxuriancy of his genius to better advantage than in reviving the flowing beard so he says that why it is customary now why i have to save when adam didn't when emperor julian didn't when all these great men were free of doing all these things why do i why should i never shot the luxuriancy of his genius to better advantage than in reviving the flowing beard he just kept on reviving his beard look at cardinal bembo's picture at michael angelo's at titian at shakespeare's at fletcher's at spencer's at chaucer's all these are great writers of english literature at alfred's at plato's i could name a great man for every tick of my watch there are lots of great people lots of literary persons from history none of them shaved then why do i have to do this so it's very funny the writer is quoting great people to defend his choice to defend himself he don't want to save in such a cold morning he want to make himself free from this torturous custom but see how clever he is he is a uh, defending himself by giving examples of great literary people he had started from adam who is considered the father of mankind adam never had to save and just like that many emperors who ruled england and the europe and the france and italy they never they never had to do this torturous custom like emperor julian like michael angelo like cardinal bembo like uh, shakespeare like fletcher like spencer like chaucer like alfred like plato none of them had to save all of those people were free from this custom then why this author has to do this so this is the pain of the author he and uh, somewhere he is very true in saying so whenever there is very cold in our environment we people also become reluctant and unwilling to come out from our beds and uh, we don't want to leave that comfort and cozy space so uh, whichever action which we have to do we question of its validity of its um uh, appropriateness of its aptness here the author is also questioning the aptness of such customs which gives him pain because um, we know that in india the climate is very different the cold is somehow bearable but is still uh, sometimes we are unable to face this cold but in england there is snowfall for uh, four or five or six months continuous there are three inches of snow on the earth so you can imagine their uh, people face st- stone cold everything is stone cold and uh, uh, they are unable to act in such a way though so here the author is saying that it is very painful very torturous and why people do this he questions and he questions the uh, utility of such customs of such activities like shaving in the cold morning so we will stop here and uh, we will be continue in our next lecture thanks for watching